Wow. Welcome back modifiers to another episode of the BMW 2002 Touring Restoration Project. Today we're looking at part three of the M10 engine rebuild. And specifically, we're gonna be looking at the block. So for the block, we need to clean it because it's got paint on it and it's pretty nasty. So strip all that paint off and then we can put the rotating assembly in, so the pistons and the crank into the block. I'll stop talking, we'll get into it. I look a mess, I feel a mess, but I'm absolutely stoked that the paint is off this engine. Uh, I was a bit worried that I wasn't gonna be able to get it off without chucking it in the sandblaster or using some sort of uh, paint stripper, which I didn't really wanna do. Um, but I was able to use the air descaler and that just ripped the paint right off. And then I went with just a quick wire brush, as you can see, and just touched it up. Uh, and it, that looks fantastic. I've still gotta clean out all the water wells because it's still full of gunk in there. So I'm gonna clean them out as best as I can. All I need to do now is lay out all the parts for the block to go back together. So the pistons, the comrods, the gudgeon pins, I need all the new parts ready to go, the crankshaft, make sure everything's clean, and then start reassembling it. Let's go do it. I think that's about it to get it in the, uh, uh, in the block, piston rings and bearings. So hopefully they're upstairs, let's go have a look. Right, piston rings and bearings, that's what we want. Oh, that's a good sight, look at that. Is that not cool or what? Yeah, yeah. Right, now it's just a matter of getting these all laid out in the right order. We did mark everything when it came off, so we know what uh, came off of what and exactly where it goes back in the car. You should always do that. Mark it. Um, we've put one, two, three, four on these, as well as the pistons, so we know exactly the orientation. So you, especially with the used engine, uh, you wanna put things back in where they came from. So, let's get sorted. So I've already got these, one, two, three, four. Um, this engine was barely worn, everything's standard that's going back in, piston rings are standard. There's very little wear in this engine, so I don't know how many Ks it's done or miles, but it's very, very tidy. Um, the measurements were well, well within tolerance for standard, so everything's going back standard. Jesus. Whew. Well, that's the crank. That's the big ends.
All right, that's our pistons attached to our comrods. Now I'm ready to go and have a look at the block just real quick because I've had to clean up the crank and get that ready to go in. So we've got the bearings in, now I've got the crank in and I've put some rebuild paste on the bearings and on the crank journals. So every time we, we do anything like this, where there's more than a few bolts, like a couple of bolts, it really pays to get some little bags and write in there what you got. It seems really simple, but when you get into doing something, you rush into doing a build, you get really excited with pulling things apart, you forget to put things into bags and buckets in the right spot. Extremely important. Get these ready first. Get your bags out, get your pen, get ready to mark them up and put them aside. Without that, we'd be, if we didn't sort the parts as we pull them off this build, we'd be absolutely lost and spending four times as much time looking for parts. So definitely do that. Still turns just as easy as it did before. Totally good. Gotta push that in. I'd rather do it with my fingers. It's probably easier. Yeah. Is is it, are we going to use anything on this kit? No, well. <laughs> probably just the cylinder ball thing. Just the. Um, the yeah. Compression thing. Yeah, right. So we've got um, oil gap there, middle gap there, top gap. There. Yeah, you just spread them out. Yeah. They are spread out. <laughs> 